Thank you all for joining me today. I will be playing Elden Ring. Let's get started. Oh, I didn't actually check my weapons here. I got a new weapon. The Briss, I think. This is also could be a good one, but I don't really want that scaling. Staves. It still has a D scaling on it. That, that's awful. Where's the Oh, I gotta find it. I really wanna know what. I also want to make a build with this sometime. Flame. Oh, it's this right here. Okay. Flintstone dart. Maybe that would be a good weapon eventually. I don't know. <clears throat> oh yeah, inventory. I could probably get a better item on. I think I want the scaled ones. I'm still medium load. Okay. Is 0.4 fire and 0.1 holy. Everything else is a lot better. It's still medium load. Alright, can I even change this? No. I do want the scale over here. Actually, can I leave this as my fire? Fire monk. Move this up. <clears throat> I can. Ooh, ah, did I do that? I do get the poor little horn, but there we go. Yeah, walk all the way back home in the cold. You know, negative. 20 degree weather or something. And uh, maybe I should have went to get, in, to get stitches, but I didn't really notice until like the next day when my sister pointed out like that there's a scar on my back from it. Like a bloody one still. So and I had one more like one more injury and I guess two. This is a light one, not really worth mentioning, but I used to have an L, backwards L on my forehead. I know. Reminds me of the song from All Star, I think it's called. Shape bow and L on the forehead, you know, loser, all that. <sighs> yeah. I don't remember where I got the first part of the injury from. I think we got it from being on the trampoline. We had a trampoline. We, oh, there's so many injuries to talk about that, and I probably will. And then the other one, I. Oh, frick. Oh. I just want to get the. Uh, what should we call it down there? The, the grace down there. And they'll probably be done for the B section. Ugh. Anyways, uh, sister tossed a soccer ball to me, at me, and it went sideways. Yeah, she tossed it at me when I wasn't paying attention. So it went sideways, scratched my forehead, left this, you know, cut it, and it left a scar there. 
And I made the L because it crossed perfectly on my other scar. And then, last entry, this one was a major one. I was running through my neighbor's uh, bush. The bush is just like a, uh, it's like a forest, but it was small, like maybe a couple acres. Gotta find it. Their souls are here they are. Also, last time I was here, there was so many visual glitches that ruined it. You can see it on my uh, my other playthrough. I think called like Save Eternal Glitchiness or something. Yeah, uh, final one. I was running through neighbor's bush with my sister, and I make that worth it. Either want to, but also don't want to at the same time. Okay, keep that button held to run. Oh, I can't. Okay. Getting a claw motion. This ghost flame torch. Ooh, what's that do? Alright, what does this frost build up? I'm gonna just. I know I'm not gonna keep it on. Torch anymore. Yeah, I was running through neighbor's bush <clears throat> and I wasn't paying attention. I looked back because I think I heard a dog bark or something. And I ran into our root. I was sticking over the ground at 45 degrees and then went perpendicular or parallel to the ground, sorry. And I just ran right into that. Hit my knee, and it was damaged really bad. Uh, sister saw, told me wait there, so I went and well, I climbed the fence so we could actually you know, get out. She sprinted home, told my parents to get the vehicle ready. I need to go to the hospital. Uh, she drove back on the. Uh, we had some mini bikes. Anyways, uh, she drove back, picked me up, and then <clears throat> then when I got back, the parents were ready. Now, I do remember, like it was a pretty deep wall. I think it was a big wall. I think it was about the size of I'd say one and a half leaves or like our dollar coins. Maybe the same size as the silver dollar. That should hit me. So yeah, one and a half silver dollars in width. There's like a almost a circle. And yeah, just gushing blood. I remember my stepdad, the one who was driving, was more worried about me getting blood on its vehicle 
then getting me to the hospital. They didn't want to, you know, ring up an ambulance or anything. Yeah, I had to hold a... What was it? A towel around my leg to stop it from bleeding onto the vehicle. <clears throat> Another, so this injury happened to my sister. Uh, we were on the trampoline. They were. I was really young, maybe like six. And they were, you know, doing a game where they would uh, launch me. But, you know, I would sit on their feet, they would be lying back, and they would just launch me and kick me. They would just go back and forth. And I would, you know, stop myself early by, you know, putting my legs out in the ground and, you know, flopping over. This is on the trampoline, so no damage. Maybe a little, maybe a little like a uh, friction burn, but that would be it. That's probably where I need to go. <clears throat> and so my sister told me to stop because they actually wanted to, you know, make it go faster. I got to go all the way. So why listen to them? You know, stupid. Stupidly. And my sister was sitting there, you know, feet up, and I hit her pinky toe. Tore it. Uh, I think it broke the bone. And yeah. She had to go get driven to the hospital, got some stitches. Here we go. I think that's all the stories I have for the moment. That was a lot of talking. Let me just get this. And rest the fire here. Now I'll go right at editing afterwards. It's 6 o'clock. I've been late for a while. Great. Uh, system. There we go. So yeah. I thank everyone for watching. I hope you all have a good day.